Are you looking for living fence ideas? Maybe the thought of natural fence is more appealing than a stodgy wood or metal structure for you. Different fence ideas are one of our most favorite ways to change and enhance the look of our backyard. And living fence ideas are no different. And in this video, we'll share with you the top 10 living fence ideas so you can get the juices flowing to start your own in the backyard living area. Some benefits of having a living fence are simply that they can be more beautiful and they also help with noise reduction. Just like with regular fences, living fences will keep out honest people. If someone really wants to get through the fence, then they will. It doesn't matter the type of fence you have. For most living fences, they might take a little longer to fill out. You can buy the shrubs or the plants at full height if you want, but they'll still have to grow together to make it all come together. And of course, if you want to save a little bit of money, then you can get these smaller versions of the plants and then wait for them to grow to the desired height. So with all that, let's dive in. The first idea is the yellow Forsythia blooms fence. This is a beautiful yellow bush structure that will tell you that spring is here with their yellow blooms. And if you're looking for living fences that can get as high as nine feet, then you might want to check these out. They average from three feet all the way up to nine in height. You also won't have to wait too long for them to grow since they are a fast growing bush. You would do well to get smaller plants to save a little bit of money and then let them grow to your desired height. You can also choose to let them grow wild or keep them manicured into tiny little shrubs. Number two is the trumpet creeper fence. I love the sunset trumpet creeper to form a fence. Our neighborhood had, had these when we were kids and I'd love to pick the trumpets and play with them. They are hardy, so once they're established, there's very little that you'll have to do for them. And this is a vine, so you will have to have a small structure underneath just to give them a place to grow. But once they're fully established, it's very thick, luscious, and provides a great fence structure for privacy. Number three is the bamboo fence. Bamboo is hardy and fast growing. You can also have several different varieties to choose from. We have a bamboo fence on one side of our backyard. Actually, I should say our neighbor has the bamboo fence and I love how beautiful it is. We don't have to do much. We do have to cut it back in areas where it gets a little bit too large on one side. Now, since bamboo is a grass, it can start running in different areas. So you'll want to just keep it trimmed back so it doesn't overtake your whole backyard. And the bamboo height is just as amazing. Our bamboo is easily 15 to 20 feet tall, so it provides great privacy in the backyard. Like with most of these living fences, the bamboo fence is great for reducing backyard noise. Number four is the pyracantha fence. The pyracantha is a beautiful red belt. The pyracantha is a beautiful fiery red shrub in the family of the rosacea, and it's a common name for firehorn or pyracantha. Number five is the honeysuckle fence. One of my favorite spring smells is, of course, the honeysuckle. Like the trumpet, this is a vine that will provide a great living fence around your property. And when it's blooming, you get the added bonus of the wonderful smell in your backyard. Now, you can also get the second variety, which is a wooded shrub that you can grow in the shape that the perfect fence for privacy. And these shrubs grow from 5 to 12 feet tall, which is the perfect fence replacement for anyone. Number six, container plant fence. So basically take whatever plants you want, put them in a container and then line those containers up into a privacy fence. This is great for changing out the structure however you want your backyard fence line to go. This would also be great to go down any of your driveway areas or just to separate a little space for you in your backyard. And this is perfect if you don't want the permanent plant structure, then you can consider doing the container plant fence. I also like this because you can either choose to get all uniform container plants or go with all the different type, types of colors and shapes of the containers that hold just a variety of different things. So it could look almost like a wild garden in your containers. Number seven is the cactus fence. If you don't want to worry about watering as much or if you live in an area that gets less rainfall, then you might want to consider a cactus fence line. Most varieties of cacti can be segmented multiple times and then it will regrow in the ground. Number eight is the wild plants fence. There's a house that we pass often and I actually got the idea of the living fence idea from passing by this wild fence location and it inspired this whole video. You can choose different heights and colors to plant to fill in the different areas of your yard and the wild plant fence can get tall depending on which plants you choose. 
If you choose completely native plants, then the upkeep should also be easier for you. Plus, you can also choose to get different plants that bloom at different times so that it almost bloom all year round. Number nine is the evergreen tree fence. Evergreen tree fence is perfect if you have a long driveway or if you have a long area in your backyard. Depending on the variety that you pick, these trees can actually grow up to 70 feet tall. And there are several types of evergreen to choose from. One of my favorites is the juniper because of the great smell. Since these are deciduous, they're perfect for year round coverage and providing the best privacy for your backyard area. And number 10 is the Fotinia fence. This evergreen shrub is perfect to create a living fence in the area of your yard. And instead of just green shrubs, the Fotinia has a vibrant red shoot that really show off after they've been trimmed. They're fairly wide at five to eight feet and then they grow as tall as 15 feet. So they make the perfect natural fence for your yard. And if you're looking for other fence ideas, make sure you check out the horizontal fence idea video that I put together for you as well. Let us know in the comments below, which is your favorite living fence idea that you're looking to grow in your backyard. And thanks for watching. Number five is the pyracantha fence. And I said absolutely nothing about the pyracantha fence. So you'll just have to figure it out on your own. <laughs>